Alright, I thought I was done, but I guess I'm going to do one more tonight. And, uh, this is that Dell Optiplex 745 Core 2 Duo. I know there's no hard drive in it, but, uh, let's see what happens. Let's see what it is. I had it on once, but the, uh, glare from the, uh, flash. Alright, okay. It's not bad. Bad chip. It's a, uh, Core 2 Duo 2.66. I know it's only got one gig of, or one gig of RAM and it's only one. But let's see what we let's see what we can get here. Um, I have an 80 gig hard drive, so if you give me a minute, I'll be right back. Alright, so I put a hard drive in it, and I forgot to push that back up. And I also put, this will work for temp purposes, put another gig in, because I couldn't find my other three or four that I had. So, put that in, what we're going to do is uh, exit setup, I think it's F. I think it's F12. Should F12 or Escape? F12 boot menu. USB device. And uh, you know what? I should plug. I should probably plug this into it. Where it comes over here while this is doing this. This one second. Alright. So I'm going to run Windows install and, uh, Yeah, I didn't even check to see if it saw the, uh, saw the network, or saw the, uh, hard drive. We will in a second. I know I've got a license for Home Basic. Have one for that. Yeah, what I'm doing now is pretty much just to see the machine work. So we all pretty much know what goes on from here. So I'll be back. Okay, it's a few minutes later and, uh, excuse me, and, uh, Windows is installed. I'm going to keep this pretty quick because I want to get out to the thrift store. I like to get there just as they open. And, uh, no, 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 don't detect problems. I know that there's no speakers plugged in. So, um, I'm going to keep this pretty short. So this is pretty much what the specs are, um... Wait, does this actually have dedicated graphics? Yeah, it does. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought. Um, but yeah, this is actually, even with 2 gigs of RAM, especially since it has, uh, has the um, dedicated graphics, it's not running too bad at all. This is with whatever version of, uh, oh, whatever, I ain't gonna worry about that then. This is actually the closest I've ever been on a computer to my, like, over there is my modem, over here is the router, 
here's the computer. But, um, yeah, it seems to be pretty snappy. I know it's going to want to do a bazillion Windows updates, uh, which this hard drive is only temporary. I'm trying to get used to Windows 7 again. Uh, this is a 80 gig that's really old school Western Digital Caviar. It's actually at the, uh, what do they call that, the uh, transition period to SATA, to SATA, which this is, of course, a SATA drive. Um, I have a, hell, I'll use a laptop drive in it, I don't care. I actually have an adapter for that. Yeah, I'll use that, you know. But, to see if anybody actually watches, I'll ask a question. Now, I will be doing a couple series of videos on this, but what is a good low-profile video card for somebody that's just going to watch, like, TV shows? This will not be gamed on at all. That This is not going to be gamed on at all, but the uh, layout of it requires a low-profile video card. So... But yeah, I just threw a random 1 gig chip in there and a random 80 gig hard drive. The uh, modem, that can go away. <laughs> but, oh no, not a bad running little machine. I'm going to have to put a piece, for what I'm going to be doing, i got to put a PCI uh, Wi-Fi card in it. <laughs> uh, funny story about what's going to happen with this is I'm going camping, and I'm going to put this in the trailer, or in the camper, for, uh, watch uh, watch TV on so that's pretty much what I'm gonna do with it but uh, I will do videos with it just to do videos with it but uh, alright thank you for watching have a blessed day